Hello everyone, some interesting news here. So Ukraine is confirmed now to have a troop presence in Krinky itself, east of the Dnipro River. This is big news. Now, I think it's too soon to call it a liberation, but hopefully this is prepping the way to secure ground for more landings and an eventual full liberation of Krinky. Early reports are saying an unknown number of Ukrainian marines attacked the village. The settlement was defended by a small number of around 30 or so Russians, 25 of whom ended up fleeing into the woods, abandoning the village. The attack caught Russia by surprise while having breakfast. I will play Ukraine's statement in full. If someone can translate it, that would be very much appreciated. Не без втрат, не без втрат, конечно, да, мы сгодні, що це війна. Нам тяжко, нам тяжко, ми хочемо їсти, хочемо пити, хочемо додому, хочемо бачити рідних. Але ми стоїмо, стоїмо, а також двигаємося вперед, двигаємося, щоб загнати цього ворога до себе туди в будку. Ми любимо свою країну. Що я вам скажу, хлопці? Слава Україні, слава морській піхоті! Героям, героям, слава! Krinky is here. Now, this doesn't look like a good place for a landing for vehicles over the Dnipro, which I assume would be transported by a barge. Once crossing the Dnipro, they'd have to then cross boggy terrain and then cross the Konka River and the Krinka River. However, these waterways would allow Ukraine to reinforce this position with troops. The Konka River is 30 metres wide, so there is a chance that limited number of armoured vehicles could be transported down there on smaller vessels and then be put ashore at Krinke, if Ukraine was going to make a major bridgehead here. But I don't think Ukraine does have that capability. They only have a handful of landing craft, from what I can tell, and I don't think those ones they have would be suited for making their way through narrow rivers like this one. On deep states, Krinke is here. Now... I would expect a major landing by Ukraine and a bridgehead to allow vehicles across to be established near the Antonovsky Bridge. Ukraine has a troop presence there that Russia has failed to dislodge. And Ukraine also has a troop presence in the grey zone near Pishchenivka. So we are going to have to wait and see what the plan is here. Now, Ukraine does have a knack for doing the unexpected and surprising us. So hopefully, they have something up their sleeve here to press the advantage. There are other places along the river, such as near Dnipriane or Nova Kokovka, where crossings, large-scale crossings, can potentially be made, if the intention is to use troops to secure towns and villages along the Dnipro and clear the way for a landing with vehicles. But we are going to have to wait and see. What we do know now, though, Ukrainian troops are in Krinke and have captured parts of it. So that's it for this video. Now before we finish, I'm going to play two videos from NAFO about the ongoing fundraiser with them. Big thanks to everybody who's donated so far. Thanks very much and take care everybody. Ми, танковий батальйон 41-ї бригади, потребуємо авто для виконання бойових завдань, евакуації поранених та аеророзвідки. Звертаємось по допомогу до Сучимаймус та фонду 69 Снифінг бригади. Слава Україні! Heroes, we are the Burivi Offensive Guard. We need a pickup truck to carry out the tasks of intelligent units on the front line to transport personnel and ammunition. We appeal to such a Mimas and Charity Found 69 Sniffing Brigade to help us. Slava Ukraini! Heroes, Slava!